Gwinnett well, County, the divers will have four opportunities to dive in an 11 dive meet. The first one will be the Clody meet, which is coming up uh, soon. And what the Clody meet is, is just the first chance for all of our divers to get together as a county and, and compete against each other. It's like a mini county meet. But uh, you do not have to do 11 dives. You can do six dives if you don't have 11 dives, but you can still be there so you see all the divers in the county and the new divers will get to see the more experienced divers dive in 11 dive meet. <coughs> so the Clody is an opportunity. The Gwinnett Invitational Meet, we have an invitational meet that we host, um, and that is just an 11 dive meet. County meet is just an 11 dive meet, and then if they qualify for state. So the state meet you have to qualify for, the county meet you have to qualify for, the Gwinnett Invitational you do not have to qualify for, but you have to have the correct 11 dives, and it is a state qualifying meet, right? No, just 11 dives? Okay. So you just have to have 11 dives for the Gwinnett Invitational. So those are the four meets that you have an opportunity to do 11 dives in. Okay, the 11 dive sheet, I'm going to go over very, go very quickly with you, the 11 dive sheet. You have this sheet, I think, right in front of you. Okay, the sheet that the state likes is this one. They've changed it. It looks different, but it's the same thing. So you can follow this one when I go over it, but the sheet that the state likes is, is this one. Which okay. one do you use? This one is what we'll be using um, most of the time. They'll accept both, um, but this is the one that will be using. The difference on the one that you have under dive description, it gives you a little tiny box that you're supposed to write in the description on. On this one, you can circle it. It has a forward, the number for somersaults. It's all written down and you just circle it. Okay. I'm speaking for all six coaches. I'm, I'm pretty sure we all do this the same. I do it with my divers, and I'm pretty sure all of them do too. I would never give a diver this and say, okay, take it home and bring that. Can we take it to the meet? Good luck. Um, because it would be wrong. So my recommendation is when you're sitting with, uh, and parents can do this with, with them at home first just to see if they can do it and then bring it to their coach, but do it in pencil lightly when you're filling it out because there will be eraser marks on it. After you fill out the first one, you'll probably change it a couple times. Um, so you fill out the top first. You put the name, the school, the grade, the gender, the meet, and the site. Site being where the meet's being held and the date. Uh, the, sh the sheet is broken up into three sections. The first section is five dives. The next is three dives. And the last is three dives. The first dive, the first group, is five dives. And you are to do two voluntaries and three optionals. The second group, six through eight, you do two voluntaries and one optional. And the third group, you do one voluntary and two optionals. And that has it written right on top of them. The five voluntary dives that you do are your lower DD dives from that group. So you're doing one dive out of each of the groups, and it's the lowest DD that you have out of those that is your voluntary dive. The six optional dives that they do will be the higher DD dives. Okay, so you have 11 dives. So there will be four groups that you do two dives out of. There will be one group that the diver does three dives out of. That equals 11. Okay? The first thing, I'm going to tell you how I do my sheet with my divers. And um, there's different ways to do it. There's certain rules you have to follow but there's different ways that you can figure it out to make it work for you. I'm, to simplify it, I'm going to do it the way that I do it with my divers, and then um, your coach might do it a little bit differently. The first thing I do with my divers is I say, figure out which group you're doing the three dives out of. A lot of them, it's forward. They can do a forward dive, a forward somersault, and a forward one and a half. Or a forward somersault, a forward one and a half, and a forward double. Okay? There are more experienced divers that pick the different group. They might um, do twi have three twists or three inwards. So the first thing I do is say, okay, figure out which group you're going to do the three dives out of. Okay? Out of that group, pick one of the optional dives that you're going to do from that group and put that down as dive number 11. So they would figure that out and then we would, fill, we would all fill out dive number 11. That's your 
third, third optional. It's the group that you have two optionals out of. Okay, um, then what I do is I say, okay, now we're going to put down your voluntary dives. So you have to do a voluntary dive out of each group, and we put that in one, three, six, eight, and ten. So I tell them, okay, let's do your forward voluntary dive here. We fill that out. Then we do your back voluntary dive here, or your inward sometimes. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't tell you which voluntary group it has to be. It just has to be two voluntary groups here, two here, and one here. Okay, it doesn't tell you if it has to be the first dive and the third or the second and fourth. It doesn't matter what order in this group, but you have to have two of them there. But to simplify it, I put it at one, three, six, eight, and ten. Okay, after you do that, then we circle the dives. They have to be circled. The voluntary dives, the number under dive order, has to be circled for your voluntary dives. This helps the officials out when they look down, when they're checking the sheet to make sure it's right. They look first and see which dives are your voluntary dives. <coughs> Another kind of tricky part. The first eight dives have to represent every, all five groups. Okay, so in the first eight dives, all five groups have to be represented. So what I do, you look at the voluntary dive that you put down at number 10. Okay, we just filled all the voluntary dives up. You look down at number 10 where your voluntary dive is, and you know that that group is not represented in the first eight because it's down here. So what I tell them is, okay, pick your optional dive from that group that is now down here that's not represented up here, and that optional dive has to go up here in the first eight. 